I says, why don't we take our shoes and paint them white? Somebody said, well, what if we lose the first game? I said, you think we're going to lose the first game? You ain't going to play. Like all defenses, the White Shoes defense started up front in the trenches. And circumstantial and anecdotal evidence suggests that the leader in the trenches for the White Shoes defense was tackle Dennis Byrd. A two-time All-American, and NC State's first ever consensus first-team All-American, Byrd was the pack's defensive anchor almost from the first snap of his sophomore season in 1965. He went on to become the first player ever to earn first-team All-ACC honors three times. The 1967 Wolfpack had a chance to be special from the get-go. No one, however, had any inkling just how suffocating the 67 defense would be. They found out soon enough. In the second game of the season, a 24-6 rout of Buffalo, the defense forced six turnovers and set the tone. Two weeks later, at second-ranked Houston, whose offense was averaging 40 points a game at the time, the White Shoes defense smothered the Cougars as the Wolfpack came away with a 16-6 victory. The Wolfpack set a school record with 23 interceptions in 1967, 20 of them in the last five games of the year. And Bird received much of the credit for that, thanks to his relentless and ferocious pass rush. Gary Brubaker, the Pack's defensive line coach at the time, called Bird the best defensive lineman he'd ever seen. He was a very dominant player. I mean, hey, Coach Brubaker was his coach. He was like a father to him. And, and, and he told the linebackers, if that tackle ever blocks you, you let me know. Well, Dennis was a left tackle. I was lucky enough to be a left linebacker. I never had to worry about the tackle on tackle block because Dennis was that dominant and they had, they had the block. The Boston Patriots drafted Bird sixth overall in the 1968 NFL-AFL draft, making him the second NC State player ever taken in the first round. But his professional career was cut short by injuries. Instead, he spent a 30-year career teaching biology and coaching high school football. He began his coaching career as the head coach at West Lincoln High School in his hometown of Lincolnton then served as a longtime assistant coach at Northeastern High School near Elizabeth City. He retired from teaching and coaching in 2001. NC State retired Bird's uniform number 77 in 2001, making him the only defensive player in school history to be so honored. Two years later, the ACC named him to its 50th anniversary football team. The North Carolina Sports Hall of Fame inducted him in 2007, and three years later, the National Football Foundation's College Football Hall of Fame followed suit. Even as a young football player, Dennis always wanted to play for North Carolina State. That was his dream. He pursued his dream, and he finished up at NC State with, with, um, with a great football career. He was appreciative of, of the Wolfpack family. Just being part of that meant a lot to him. He was appreciative of the fans. They were so they were so wonderful and excited to see him play, and that meant a lot to him. As a family, we're honored, and he would certainly be honored to be inducted into the Hall of Fame as part of the Wolfpack family. Even though Dennis Bird is no longer with us, he made an enduring impact on NC State football.